Good morning and welcome to a double shot of bulletins from the Angry Astronaut. As you can see, I am still not in my home. <laughs> still have a broken water pipe and honestly, I don't think it's going to get fixed before I go back to Britain. But in some ways, I suppose that's very good news. Thanks to all of you guys, I am actually going back to properly cover the launch from Spaceport Cornwall. And yes, finally, after all of this waiting, after all of this frustration virgin orbit is go for launch and so is spaceport cornwall and so is the british government and it appears so is everyone else so i'm going to give you a rundown on everything that's going to be happening next week and why the really terrifying moments are yet to come <laughs> And touchdown. Woo! Yeah. Look at her. Oh my God, what a beautiful aircraft. Nearly three months have passed since this historic moment when Cosmic Girl finally sat down at Spaceport Cornwall, beginning the process of what will hopefully be the first successful orbital mission from Western Europe. And even though there have been many, many delays, mostly caused by regulatory problems, but also apparently from some technical issues, the last barriers to this mission have finally been removed. Moved. So at this point, Virgin Orbit and their partners, that is to say Spaceport Cornwall and also the various satellite companies that are loaded on the rocket, have the following dates reserved for a notice to air mission. January 9th, January 13th, January 15th, January 18th, January 19th, and January 20th. So six possible dates have been reserved. The earliest of these would be Monday. In some ways, I kind of hope that that doesn't happen. I'd like to have a little bit more time to settle in and do some interviews in the area before we proceed straight to the mission. But as long as everything is looking nominal, it's very much in Virgin Orbit's interest to get this rocket into orbit as rapidly as possible, because really, it's taken entirely too long. It's been 15 months since Virgin Orbit first applied for their permit, and they no doubt expected to get this rocket into orbit in November at the latest, so we are running very, very late. But that's the least of our problems right now. As I have mentioned a number of times before, this is Virgin Orbit's first opportunity, and perhaps the only opportunity they're ever going to get to demonstrate that they can launch from anywhere, anytime, any place. And this is going to be a uniquely challenging launch. Launch, not, not only because of the technical issues, but also because of the numerous flight paths that they're going to be interdicting, so to speak, when they carry out this mission in the first place. There are going to be Spanish flight paths, Portuguese flight paths. They're also going to be very close to the coast of Ireland. And even though this mission is taking place in international airspace, never has there been a space mission undertaken that has involved the airspace space and flight considerations of so many countries at the same time. This is extremely complicated and requires the cooperation of many nations aside from the United Kingdom. So if Virgin Orbit can actually pull this off, it's going to be a very impressive demonstration of their capabilities and a demonstration that Virgin Orbit can do things that other companies, that is to say vertical launch companies, simply cannot. However, if anything goes wrong with this launch, and keep in mind, this rocket has made a transatlantic journey, and of course, so is the fairing, and the payload has been integrated for some time now, longer than usual, all of these things could create technical challenges and increase the possibility of an anomaly. I think that an anomaly is highly unlikely, but when it comes right down to it, Virgin Orbit 
cannot afford an anomaly to happen. Regardless of how often these sorts of things tend to occur, regardless of how hard space might be, this is the one time that any rocket company cannot afford anything to go wrong. If it does, after all the time and all the money has been invested in this mission, well, that would be a devastating setback not only to Virgin Orbit, but to UK space flight in general. Let me tell you something, the tension is going to be incredibly high from the moment that Cosmic Girl takes off from New Key Airport to the moment that the rocket is released to the moment that the satellites are deployed in low Earth orbit. I wish all of them the very best, and I am looking forward to covering every moment of this historic mission up close and personal and thank you so much again to my supporters for making all of this happen please like please subscribe and as always stay angry about space <laughs>